Welcome to Pure Experiences. The tendency to serve others grows with time and one becomes more and more capable of serving and spreading the light of knowledge. Although we do not get anything in return, the satisfaction that we get is priceless. Although it is difficult, it is the most meaningful thing to do. The more you do it, the better you become at it. It is an art. Teaching is an art. This gives rise to many tendencies that can be collectively called bodhisattva tendency which is a desire to liberate all the creatures in this existence a desire to bring everybody out of suffering and darkness and this individual spends many births many lifetimes doing this and ultimately the birth happen only with one purpose that is to serve with time the individual progresses climbs the ladder of evolution and becomes a part of the whole universe however some of them have this ability to preserve this tendency even at this highest level as the individual is long gone now remains only a memory or you can say a possibility a potential which can manifest as and when needed in any form and reappears as the bodhisattva tendency all those who went through this path to non individuality but preserved their tendencies they merge into one these memories which are not physical not mental become a field of possibilities they all combine together to form a field which will be called the guru field it is mysterious it is unknowable for an average person so we are going to use some uh, tools to describe it we are going to form a concept or a model it is not that it is completely imaginary it can be experienced but it is not very obvious at least for those who are new in spirituality you can say that the guru field is a kind of memory which is purely a potential non physical non mental and manifested but it can take any form most of the time this memory of the guru field operates through anything that is already manifested such as human beings especially those who are having this tendency and still have a body the guru field guides these people you can say that it is a group mind where all the minds of great masters have combined these masters do not exist there as individuals but their tendencies do exist if needed it can take a form if needed they can create entire universes entire worlds they are very powerful and they are very wise nothing is done without any purpose as it is non physical it is omnipresent however it is not true it is also an illusion although a very useful illusion and the highest kind of illusion that i know of the universe can be thought of as a memory which is non physical and non mental it is almost infinite and the guru field forms a part of this memory just like the universal memory can appear as anything from a grain of sand to the complete worlds and universes the guru field has the same capability although the tendency there is to guide to spread knowledge to help all the seekers at this time it will look like a far fetched imaginary thing mythology and those who do not experience it directly should think of it simply as a concept for most of the seekers it will be invisible they will never come to know but those who are in service they will surely come to know they will surely get a direct experience of it and many of those who are in service will become a part of the guru field if they choose to be so it is important to know that the guru field is not a guru not a guide not a person it is simply a memory which is a potential memory a latent memory we should never personify the guru field we should never imagine a face or a body there and it is not something higher also such as a causal body or a soul or anything which is paranormal there is no comparison with humans or any other creatures the guru field does not look like any deities gods and goddesses and 
it is not something which can be channeled like other entities although it can appear as all of these it can appear as a person a human being some para human creature some mysterious things powers that we don't understand and it can also appear as something which can be contacted through channeling but still it, the guru field is not all of these it is important to clear this because many newcomers will be confused about the source of the guidance that they are receiving they will imagine something although it is not harmful to imagine like this but that can increase ignorance that can cause blind beliefs remember that there is no thinking process there there are no desires except one desire to liberate all you can say that that is what they do i always use they or their or them these words for the guru field because it is not one person it is a group it is a field so they guide all creatures that want to be guided their energy is to serve all it is not like a human desire to achieve something to get something there is this energy which activates as soon as their services are needed anywhere in the universe in any of the worlds and it is also eternal timeless you can say that there is a intention there which is maintained so that everybody can progress so they provide any kind of help that is needed and they try to remove all the obstacles from the paths of a sincere seeker as i said it can take any form there are no limitations but they are very efficient they will never do anything which is not absolutely needed how do they help the most direct method is they descend into the physical world they take a form and it will be very rare they can take any form not only human form but most of the time they use the existing forms that are found here those who have the same tendency to serve those who have become an instrument of the guru field guru field simply uses them as that is the most efficient way to help they are all powerful so they can adjust this illusion whenever they want they can change situations or they can create situations in the lives of seekers sometimes they send inspirations directly into the minds of the seekers although the seekers will think that it is their thought it is their desire it is their idea but it came from the guru field a seeker has no way to distinguish what is their own thought something which is coming from the guru field the illusion is adjusted only when it is absolutely needed and it is done in such a masterful way that no evidence of any manipulation is left behind this is the law of the illusion that uh, one cannot disturb it and reveal that it is an illusion that can cause havoc among ordinary people so the guru field obeys this rule and uh, always leaves a doubt whenever they change something in the illusion that can be called deniability that whenever such a miracle happens it is possible to deny it it is possible to explain it away using ordinary reasons in the same way the direct guidance is always disguised as seeker's own thought process they simply nudge it they do not cause extensive changes anywhere including in the minds of the seekers they do not uh, guide everybody only those who ask for guidance because of the law of the free will which says that you cannot instruct anybody you cannot guide anybody if they don't want it so even though they are immensely powerful they are not seen so much their actions are not so visible because the majority of people do not want spirituality they do not want any guidance they are happy in their lives and so they are not disturbed nothing is imposed on anybody and even the seekers they are not guided unless it becomes absolutely necessary or guidance is demanded from the guru field directly then something is done and always minimal possible is done nothing extraordinary is done and the most common way to extend their help in the world is through a living master a living guru a guide who is in human form already since they are advanced a little bit they have progressed 
they are in a better communication with the guru field than the rest of the seekers their minds are a little bit more pure and the channel of communication is less noisy and also the advanced gurus experienced gurus can sometimes distinguish between their own thoughts and the inspirations coming from the guru field they come to know that it is something which is conveyed from guru field and this communication will not happen every day every now and then it happens only when it is absolutely necessary they will never sit down and chit chat with the guides or with the seekers they will never lecture directly although it is all possible but the law of efficiency is mostly seen although they are capable of doing absolutely anything it is seen that they mostly do nothing this is the law of powers that the more powers you get the less you use them and the reason behind is perfection in the universe this whole existence is completely perfect nothing really needs to be done and the guru field fully knowing this does not intervene in the workings of the universe and they are totally free to decide when to intervene but they do it in a minimal possible way so a question that is asked frequently is if they are so powerful if the essence of all the gurus and masters is already there if all the knowledge of the universe is already stored there why don't they liberate enlighten each and everybody on earth in one day why are people suffering why are people ignorant when we have something like this and the answer is very simple everything is absolutely fine everything is perfect as it is this human life is already set up for optimal growth without suffering the progress is really slow lessons are not learned quickly and secondly probably they have already altered the universe or the world physical world sufficiently to enable fastest possible progress then they are protecting this school of learning which is also a playground for many and so they are left they do not intervene as i said the law of free will says that they will never do anything from their side when a person is ripe enough he or she becomes a seeker approaches a living guide then prays or applies for teachings and that is the green signal to the guru field that now this person can be helped now the desire of the person is spiritual and they get a approval to interfere and accelerate the progress of that seeker still nothing big will be done however if the seeker is uh, very brilliant if the potential is great in that seeker then sometimes something extraordinary can be done to bring that seeker forward to accelerate their progress sometimes within few days and months this is especially true if that seeker has a potential to become a guru we don't know how they decide it but they come to know who has more potential and they manipulate the situations so that this brilliant person gets propelled on the path at the speed of light and when they do something like this sometimes they break the law of deniability and few people can see that something paranormal has happened which is connected to this person who has this extraordinary potential however ordinary people never come to know or they dismiss it as coincidence something strange a glitch in the working of the universe they forget about it this illusion is an expert in wiping out the doubts from the minds of ordinary people they forget the miracles with time even if some of them can notice that something paranormal has happened here when they go and tell others nobody believes them they can manipulate the minds of people very easily they can make them forget in the same way if a guide is doing extraordinary work while in the body rules are bent for that guide because he is going to become a catalyst for thousands of seekers some special arrangements are made for this guide and it seems like miracles are happening around this guru all that the guru says i don't do anything it happens that guru will get the needed information there and then that guru will be able to guide the seekers in the most precise way that guru will do something which ordinary people cannot do to remove the obstacles from the paths of the seekers 
and sometimes the gurus they come to know that this is happening and they accelerate the process by praying directly to the guru field they can push up a case just to make things go smoothly they can accelerate the progress of anybody by becoming a mediator in this process it is as good as sending a file a proposal in a government office it can take some time because this physical world is somewhat slow these things take time and then the results are also manifested slowly it will it will never happen overnight there are exceptions as i said so sometimes a guru who is in direct contact with guru field his job becomes that of a clerk who simply sends the file upwards and takes the instructions and carries out in the physical world in other words these people become messengers of the guru field now these instruments are so fine tuned that the guru field gets a chance to directly work in the physical world or any world now it is not necessary to appear in somebody's dreams or to send cryptic messages or patterns of numbers and whatever they can simply instruct the guide in ordinary language the guide passes on the instruction or the guidance to the seekers however this will happen very rarely especially in this time and to obey the law of deniability everything is covered up nobody tells these things even if they happen it is not made public and seekers or ordinary people since they cannot see the guru field they do not know this concept they find that the guru is responsible for the miracles the guru is a kind of extraordinary person he has extraordinary talent to guide or sometimes they will say that god has done this thing for me or they will give the credit to the deities they worship or their past gurus who are not in the body so to take advantage of this ignorance to hide behind their ignorance the guru field can take these kind of forms also some great master from the past some deity some other angel or entity they appear as that because an ordinary person or an ordinary seeker will not understand anything else so they pick up a suitable interface remember they do not have any form so they are free to take any form now you came to know about guru field probably you resonate with this idea although it is purely a theory although we made this up to explain our experiences but probably you find it useful and there will be a desire in your mind to contact the guru field many people ask this question how can i contact guru field if it is such a miraculous thing i am going to benefit a lot if i contact them directly so it will be difficult but uh, there are some ways and the key is to align yourself with the energy of the guru field start doing that which they are doing and what are they doing they are serving everybody so when you start serving all those who are seeking knowledge who are seeking freedom then you don't need to contact guru field the guru field will contact you all you need to do is align your intention to the intention of the guru field this is the most direct method to contact guru field make your will the will of guru field and through the law of resonance you will be placed in their contact your instrument must be ready to receive the messages of the guru field because the messages are not in human format they are also in some difficult to grasp formats such as desires intentions inspirations they appear as non physical initially in the minds of the seekers who are contacting them and you cannot distinguish your own thoughts from something which was sent by guru field remember there is no distance involved here they are right here right now as non physical field of potential which you are also so it helps to know what you are first and since both are one it is possible to communicate otherwise there was no way so the law of attraction or more accurately the law of resonance says that if your will is same as that of any other entity in this universal memory these two come in contact naturally without doing anything probably this is a big secret i shouldn't have told you but the time is such that it is urgent to tell these things to public now if you already have bodhisattva tendencies you are already in contact with the guru field even if you don't know it when you make a decision 
when you are solving a problem when uh, you are guiding somebody you can assume that uh, 50% or more of the information comes directly from the guru field it will look like my own decision but there is no me we all live in a sea of influences mental influences nothing is mine here and so if you have this intention to be influenced greatly by the guru field you will get that exactly if you think no it is not working it's not obvious there is radio silence everywhere nobody is listening to me so you can devise a method of prayer a ritual if you want because spiritual people like all these things and ask for help ask it loudly if you know any mantras or if you are given a mantra by your guru or the age old invocation the guru mantra they are all good you can ask for help directly you can ritualize this thing if you want you can use a statue or a idol if you want fully knowing that these things are not magical your intention has the magic your will is magical and if you are asking for somebody else to help somebody else and the domain is spiritual not material then you can hope for some assistance from the guru field another way is to assist those who are already in contact with the guru field you become a good assistant to your own guide start doing that which your guide is doing and you will also be taken in the inner circle of the guru field if your performance is good remember they are just like a company corporation or government so i i use these metaphors sending the files applying and instructions communication channel proper channel and instrument and so on probably there is a hierarchy who knows so you join at the lowest level initially which is to become assistant to your own guide and then probably you will be promoted however you should not take all these metaphors too seriously there can be an issue that initially you will get the instructions and for some reason they will stop communicating with you they have their own reasons so do not worry simply try to help as much as you can whenever your service is needed you will be contacted you will be given the information or whatever is needed to carry out your service all you need to do is to become a good instrument of the guru field become useful for them surrender your body and mind to the guru field and there are more chances of getting the help although these kind of words can discourage a person becoming an instrument surrendering it looks like that you are giving up all your control and yes it is mostly like that but it helps to know that you already don't have any control anywhere you are already an instrument a puppet of mother nature this body mind is already that however it is a useless instrument it is going to become dirt it is going to rot away so the intelligent thing to do is use it for something good for the benefit of all for a greater purpose and then as i said the guru field is not interested in you they are interested in the work that you are doing so they do not use this instrument if this instrument is not doing anything there are some effects of becoming an instrument of the guru field just like any artisan any mechanic any doctor keeps their instruments books computers and data in a good shape protects their instruments because they are so useful the guru field also does the same thing they will protect their investment in the physical world so before you can re- remove any obstacles from uh, the path of other people other seekers you will find that the guru field has already removed all the obstacles from your path they have already given you everything that you need to carry out your service or the teaching activities or knowledge dissemination activities they have already done that they will make ordinary diseases disappear they can uh, increase the life span they can make people rich they can give you extraordinary charisma and uh, oratory powers they can boost your intelligence like you upgrade your pc if it becomes your instrument of acting in your business if it is useful you keep upgrading it you take care of it you spend money on it it is just like you maintain any of your machines cars or appliances in your home you keep them working you keep them good looking 
same way the guru field will maintain their instruments however we should not be so hopeful we should not do the service in the hopes that guru field will do something to me me here me is the body and the mind remember you are not this body and the mind you are not body mind so as soon as the guru field senses that somebody is simply trying to take some material benefits under the excuse of service they simply fire that person just like your employer fires you if you do something which you are not meant to do or if you become useless for them be very careful think twice before asking for favors it has to be selfless otherwise there will be consequences the karmic law is operational in case of guru field also so never ask for personal favors although you are free to do it they are very high up there sometimes they will grant the favors also they will do it but if you keep asking and you are not serving you are not becoming a good instrument then they do not really cause any harm they do not take back the favors but they leave you to obey the karmic law it happens naturally and they will not have anything to do with you in the future so do not ask for worldly things if it is needed it will be given if you are serving if you have the bodhisattva tendency and only the minimum possible will be given they won't make you billionaire millionaire so never try to manipulate the guru field never make deals with the guru field that i'll do this if you do that that never works instead you will get a lesson most probably we should not think that the guru field depends on us they are using this body mind but they do not need us they are immensely powerful they can create millions of body minds if they want what they are doing is according to the law of efficiency and so they take whatever is available already if you don't do anything no complaints nothing will be asked from you and they will switch to the next best person who is available or they have 1001 ways to help those who are desperate for help they do not depend on anybody even if you are the biggest guru they do not depend on you although sometimes they will request sometimes they will command but they are not helpless you should not take the guru field too seriously another characteristic of the guru field is they are never serious it is all a play and everything is mostly like a joke for them now this does not make their work less important it simply gives it a twist because everything is already perfect as it is there is no need to improve anything so they are not very serious so they are playing they are checking if something can be done to do it in a more beautiful way as quickly as possible and they devise the tricks to do it and sometimes they are hilarious whatever they do is comedic they will sometimes test you sometimes they will take trials sometimes they will give you wrong information sometimes they will give you favors that you don't deserve just to check what you do how you react it is a test so just like they are not dependent on you you should not be dependent on guru field for anything remember it is your decision to serve nobody told you to do that so you should not expect anything from the guru field don't be so serious another important thing is they are not always sitting there to talk to you do not contact them if it is not needed it will be needed probably once in a month once in a week at most if you keep talking to the guru field if you keep calling the guru mantra every now and then every minute and in every situation that happens in your life one thing is certain that they will stop listening too much noise that turn off your channel especially if you're not doing anything extraordinary in the world you don't need to contact them their rule is that don't call us we'll call you that is their rule so when your service is needed instructions will be sent execute them is simple whenever something goes out of your hand if a seeker needs special attention special treatment or you are in a deep trouble now you can contact them then it is justified sometimes things happen due to your own efforts but due to your own powers that you are getting as you are progressing and serving others so if something happens like this do not assume that it is done by guru field probably it is done by you or probably it is a coincidence so do not believe everything blindly 
not everything is being done by guru field if you believe like this no problem at all but the guru field will laugh simply you become a source of entertainment for them that's all so do not delude yourself that i am in contact with the guru field now i can do everything that will never happen we absolutely don't know how these decisions are made to help somebody to contact somebody by the guru field and as i said sometimes it is purely for entertainment purposes it's a play it's a joke so if you think i have the guru field in my hand now like a magic wand i can do anything i want it is a big delusion nothing like this will happen so do not think that i have become somebody superior because i have become an instrument of the guru field no it is simply job of a clerk you have simply become a pawn that's all it is not a big thing but there is nothing to worry as soon as these kind of superiority complex or delusions start appearing in your mind the guru field knows how to fix it also sometimes they will fix it sometimes they will simply leave you it depends on their mood that day so just like uh, humans are a good instrument for the guru field to act in this world we are a medium same way the guru field is a good instrument to serve others if you keep doing this one day you will merge with the guru field as you progress as you evolve spiritually the individual will be gone but you will get an option to keep your bodhisattva tendency alive and that is merging with the guru field probably that is the highest state although the most natural state for any seeker to be in 